Well, welcome back everyone. In this video we'll be learn how to how we can use SQLite 3 with Codinator framework and this is going to be with the latest version of Codinator which is of course 3 right now. I'm currently recording this video for you. And if it comes from the Codinator 2, there was a buggy for using SQLite uh, database, but the latest version seems to be really mature with this to use the SQLite 3 as a primary database uh, for our projects built on Codinator 3. Now I'm doing it on Codinator 3 so if you are on Codinator 2 it probably gonna break. I don't know but my there's chances that it's not gonna work with Codinator 2. Now I suppose to be you are on the Codinator 3 as well with me and I got to install a new version of Codinator 3 right up here you can check out the version and I want to dive into now so let's go ahead and start digging into and learning how we can uh, integrate SQLite or how we can use the SQLite database with Codinator 3 so I will go ahead and I'll okay so now I'll go ahead into uh, my application directory now the first step would be to create a SQLite database now we can of course do this by uh, custom query by writing custom query but I think there is another quickest way to solve the problem and that is to use a SQLite browser um, to uh, manage uh, the data and here it is it's called the SQLite uh, DB browser for SQLite and you can um, download the SQLite browser for SQLite uh, from SQLitebrowser.org so now I will uh, create a new database for my uh, for my uh, Codinator Tree website or, or application. So now um, press on the new database, and I'm already inside the inside my um, Codinator Tree application directory. Now I'm gonna create my database inside the application directory, and I will create a new folder called database. Now you can of course. Um, Re uh, rename it in anything you wish and I'm gonna say like data dot db and the extension is doesn't really matter you can do whatever you wish to be alright I'm gonna press the save and now uh, I need to create a new table for my SQLite database and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new table called maybe posts and I'm gonna add some field now uh, this is gonna be the ID and it's gonna be auto increment and I assume that you know a little about the MySQL SQL queries or how table and the database things works alright and I, ha I will have a, I will add another field uh, which is uh, could be title and it's gonna be text now I'll press OK and SQLite browser will automatically do all the stuff for me and I'll click on browse and I'm already in the posts table and I'll click on the new record to have to insert some dummy data into our database right so um, uh, so this is gonna be like our dummy dummy data okay so I'm gonna insert another record called um, right okay press okay okay uh, okay and then press on the right changes so that will um, insert the table and the table data uh, inside our database called data.db all right now first of all we need to configure the um, database so in order to do that you'll go ahead and click on the config and from the config you'll click on the database.php and from there all we have to do you need to delete this local host as from the host name and then you need to be um, as the DB driver you need to be type SQLite tree and in the database we need to uh, assign the path where we actually stored the database now remember our database inside the database folder and we're gonna work uh, we're gonna just point our database right up here now uh, the way we uh, tell coordinator tree our application directory is just using a constant which is app path it's gonna like database database slash data dot db okay and I think we are almost done and there is nothing I think we need to do else 
and now I will add I will auto load the database library and the way we do is to inside the auto load.php from the in, from the config folder I will just add the database and tell coordinator tree to always load the database library so it's time to check our dummy data so first thing first I'll be create a new controller so right click and new file and let's create a new controller called data.php you can rename it whatever else you wish to be now I'll copy the uh, template from the welcome controller and there we go rename the welcome to data.php uh, data. um, and then I'm gonna load another view not this one and then I will create a model. Now remember the MVC framework, Codinator is the MVC framework, so you need to be work inside a model. So uh, model, I mean, whenever you work with database, all the database will be going to be work inside models. So I'm gonna create a new model called data underscore model dot php. And within that, I'm gonna be to data underscore model. Uh, which extends the CI model of course and within that I will have another public function I mean the method that will get us the data so now say get get test data and then like oh I missed the public function sorry guys and then say public function get test data I'll going to be use the query builder class which is which comes by default with coordinator tree and it's really helpful for writing uh, basic SQL queries um, it's, uh, you, you you'll of course uh, need to give a look at this page to learn more about the query builder class it's really awesome and it saves a lot of time so I'll do um, this DB get posts and then result alright and I'll return the data from our model now remember that we are inside a model and the model is going to be just have the old basic codes uh, that is related to database and you need to be returned just the database result from the model and then into work with inside the controller now I will be call this method from my controller so let's just add this so set this load model data underscore model so now that I have I, I do load the data model inside my data controller and now I will check if I have any data for that so let's say data set equals to mm, this data model then our method name we need to load we need to create a new view where we will be showing our data that comes from this collide tree database so I'm gonna create a new file called uh, data underscore view dot php and within that I will now just load the view first so say this load view uh, this load view and our view name so our view name is simply data underscore view and remember that we can pass all the informations into our view using an array and now let's say what I wanted to do uh, I just gonna be like data set is going to be this data set isn't that simple alright and now I'll go into the view and first of all let's check if it's if the view is going to work I'm gonna have a new h4 and say let's test the data and let's see if we can listen to our new uh, coding a new controller so that's gonna be inside the index.php and then inside the uh, data that worked that's what we need right 
all right so now let's see can we work with that so I'm gonna so I'm gonna say like PHP and if we have a valid data set then we will go ahead and print some stuff all right so we need to run a loop in from inside our data set right so say for each data set as data item we will just echo this data item and its title with a horizontal rule done okay so now let's check uh, that out if we can go ahead and work with it well there we go as you can see this all the data comes from our SQLite database that we just created now let's check that for one more time I'm gonna create another record say I think this should be work okay I'm gonna write the change I don't need it anymore reload the page and there we go so this video was just a demonstration of the basics of SQLite uh, tree on Codeigniter 3 and I showed you how we, how we can connect with the SQLite database and how to retrieve the data. It was a very fundamental video um, cast over this topic and thank you for watching this video.